Hey everyone, Nate here with Misbehaven. Well, it's May, which means it's swarm season. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this five frame nook or swarm catcher using plywood. Okay, to cut the little notch for the door, here is one method. Make your marks at two and three quarter and about half inch off the edge. So this area is what we need to cut out. Take the saw. We need to adjust the blade to a half inch depth. like mine might be just a little bit over that. It's okay to go deeper. You don't want to go too shallow. It needs to be at least a half inch. And then just plunge it through. Once you've made enough cuts to make it so the wood, remaining wood is about an eighth of an inch thick, then all you have to do is put your saw in and sweep the blade back and forth. You can see it's not the cleanest, but it's functional. Okay, now we're going to mark for the holes. Let's start with a side pan. Since I'm going to be countersinking my holes, I'm going to drill on the nicest side of the wood, which also means marking on the nicest side. So we're going to put a hole at two inches. And at five inches, and since it's two off the edge, put one there, two, five, two inches off the edge, and then the holes are inset about three eighths of an inch, which is half of three quarter. This wood is a little bit thinner than three quarters of an inch but this works just fine. So there's one. Okay, time to pre-drill. So I'm using a countersink bit. And there are all the pre-drills. Okay, so let's get this thing assembled. We're gonna start with the bottom board and one side. Make sure your countersink holes are facing out. We're gonna put the bottom or side board facing down to start. And then the bottom board. Don't forget to put some wood glue on all the edges. Double check our alignment and then put the screw in.
first side. Okay, let's assemble the other side. So we're going to assemble it like this, which means that if we use the back panel, it'll help support things while we assemble. So, let's put some good glue on it. There is a little bit of bee space left on the side. It's actually a little larger than you would want, so if you leave the bees in here too long, they'll create free, uh, free home or propolis here. So be aware of that. But what it does allow you to do is when you're stuffing bees in it, is you can spread these out a little to get some working room between them. And then, put your lid aligned. There are four screws on top to go ahead and lock it together. And lastly, don't forget to paint it. So you can create a bracket using the scrap plywood and attach it to the side of the box. Using four screws, they'll stick up a little bit higher with a large hole in it. That allows you to hang the nook on the side of a tree with a spike or a hook, or a place to attach your ratchet straps. And that's when using it as a swarm catcher. You can also set them side by side to, to a bee stand. And that allows you to use them as a nucleus colony for uh, re-cleaning or doing a direct split. All right, well that's it for a plywood-based high frame nook. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. We're gonna to try to upload a video about every week or two, at least during the summer months. It'll be related to beekeeping, farming, homesteading, and the like. Thanks for watching.